Hey y'all, hey. I passed my test. <laughs> see the title of the video um uh, i'm gonna tell you how i failed three times okay honey finally got my license during this quarantine covid and i know it's been a minute i haven't been recording i took a break off youtube because honestly i just needed a break i've been going out i've been having fun i wish i recorded like i went to the beach two times well i went to the beach this week and last week I wish I recorded, but you know, I was having fun. So I took a little break. Your girl's back. Hope y'all like my makeup, honey. Honey, I look good. And I got my hair done. My cousin did it. Book her. All right. I'm putting y'all on, honey. Okay. I'm going uh, to um, insert a photo that I just took. Go like that photo. Go ahead and like that photo, all right? So I'm just gonna go straight into it. Um, the reason why I failed the first time is because I thought I was so cocky. I thought I can drive. Honestly, I was not a good driver. My turns were terrible. Um, I needed more practice. I wasn't driving that much, but I did take driving lessons. I'm not sure where. If you're from Brooklyn, um. Um, I'm gonna try to search it up and put a link below. So I took my test um, right on Pennsylvania Avenue. If you're from Brooklyn, you know where Pennsylvania Avenue is at, right near Star Wright City. And basically, I was using the uh, driving school's car. And I was being cocky. There was two girls that were, actually there was like three, four girls that was taking the test with me. And they was like, Tiny, go first, go first. Like, I know you're a good driver. And I was being cocky, like, yeah, I could drive, I could drive. So I came in, you know, pretend. I came in, the instructor right there, whatever. He old as heck. He got an attitude and all that. So, hopped in the car. And I'm like, all right, put my seatbelt on. Put my seatbelt on. Fix my mirrors, all that just my seats all that and basically how the test is set up you have to be on the street like we was parked but I could have just went straight we were supposed to turn right and I was like right on the corner so I was like what's the point of going right onto the street if I'm right here and I'm supposed to turn so I was just I just went straight away and then turn and then soon as i turned it was kind of too late because there was mad cars coming i wasn't paying attention to like there were like five six cars coming and then uh the instructor stopped the car right away he was like mm. and i'm like he's like we're done get out basically like we're done and i'm like are you serious like we're done and he's like yeah you gotta get out like you can't be driving reckless like this. We're supposed to be right on the street. You can't be just turning around the corner like we're parked. What if there was a car there? You would have hit a car and this and that. And then when you got right on the street, there was cars right there. You wasn't paying attention. So I failed right then and there. I cried. And then all the rest of the girls passed. I was the only one that failed. I was so tight. I was crying and all that. I was like, oh my God, I did I was so pissed off. I took my test a week or two after. I was like, nah, I got this, I got this, I got this. Damn well, I was not a good driver, honey. They, <laughs> it's good that they failed me. So I took it right on, right in Canarsie, um, in like Seaview area. If you're from Brooklyn, you know what I'm talking about. So I took it over there. And honestly, it's not hard to drive over there, but I don't know what was my problem. I was so nervous. Um, during that test, I was like, damn, I failed, but I was just so nervous. Like, I was super nervous. Boom. We came, we came to the site. I was nervous. I was like, my heart was beating. 
and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. My sister was supposed to come, but she took too long to get dressed. She was supposed to drop me off. I wanted, you know, I wanted a support, but I just went by myself. And by the way, I went by myself the first time and the second time. So the second time, I was like, you know what? I got it. I got it. I got it. Bam, come in the car. And this time, I had a Caucasian guy, and I was just so nervous, yo. Like, what the heck? So I pull out, and we're supposed to go down straight down the road. And then we had to turn left. So I turned left, and I wasn't even on the right side of the freaking street. And he's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you not on the right side of the street? And I'm like, I thought we were going to... Because I thought the way the street was, like, it looked like you could, like, basically turn the other way. He's like, no, you got to turn. You got to go straight. We're not going and making a left. And, um somebody was staring at me so i had to like pause like i hate when people stare at me because i you know that just ew. but anyways back to instructor and he's like what are you doing so he gave me another chance so now i'm just super nervous i'm scared now i don't know why my heart was beating i'm just like okay all right all right so um we're gonna be turning left in one minute and then when I get to the stop sign, I was stopping too much. My turns were way too wide. And then we got back to the site. Actually, we didn't even get back to the site. Actually, I didn't even finish. We only did a few right and left. And I was so pissed off when he stopped the car. He was like, you kept going. You was not, <laughs> you were not passing miss. Like you cannot drive. Like you go, he's like, you need more practice. You feel me? And I'm just like, I feel it again twice. I'm tight. And then this time I did not cry. I called my sister. She picked me up. I was just mad as heck. And yeah. So next, I was like, you know what? Let me go upstate and just take my road test day. I thought it was gonna be easier. No, it's just me. I I'm gonna tell y'all what I did to pass. But this is not, but well, it took me a minute to pass, okay? Fell three times. Full time, I got, by the way. Okay. He was teaching me something different, and I'm just like, no, like, I was not taught this, like, how to pillow park, whatever, like, the techniques and stuff. And I was like, no, I know how to do that. And he was just like, mm, you're okay, driver, and this and that, but I think you would pass, and this and that, and the third. Boom, come in the car. And. At first, I thought I failed. So this time, I actually did everything. I did the pillow parking. I did the K-turn or whatever you call it, U-turn, whatever. The three-point turn. This time, I did everything. The um, first and the second, I only did left and right and stop signs. I didn't do the pillow parking. I didn't do the K-turn at all. The third time, I actually did it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm actually this far. So we got back to the site. Girl, I thought I freaking passed. I was like, yes, I got it. Like in my head, I was being confident. And I was like, yes, I got it. At first I thought I failed because um, I think I almost hit the sidewalk. And I'm like, dang. And um, when we got back to the site, I'm like, yeah, I think I passed, I think I passed. God didn't pass. <laughs> He's like, oh, you gotta do this. You didn't, you wasn't looking enough. You wasn't doing that and this and that, da 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 da. I'm like, damn. My mom was sitting in the car. She fell asleep because it was mad early. She was just, <sighs> I came in the car and I was just frustrated. I was like, ah, ah, like, I freaking fell. I freaking fell. Like, what the heck? Oh my God. Like, what the heck? And I was just like, oh my God. Like, I freaking failed again. Like, I'm, I was just like, yo, I was so pissed. <laughs> oh my God. I could just see it now. I was so pissed and I was crying and all that. My mom was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She's like, did you pass? I was like, no, I failed. Da, da, da. And that was last year. So I took three tests last year, um, August, September, and I think November. So it was basically like a month apart. And I was supposed to take my test again in March. But you know the COVID took over everything, so I couldn't take the test. As soon as DMV opened up, 
in freaking July, honey. Um, they rescheduled my test. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I'm, I'm going a little too far. First of all, I did lose my confidence when I filled up three times. So I'm like, nah, I don't want to drive. And I was just a little sad. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm going to start driving more. And luckily, um, one time my mom went out in Queens. And my uncle was like, she should go with it. She should go with it. And sadly, they had to go for my cousin's funeral. But there was a whole drive-in school that had the best reviews. It was like five stars. And, you know, in Brooklyn, it was like three, four stars. Nah, it was a five-star drive-in school, the best. Everybody passed. Everyone always passed in that school. So, my mom's like, let's go there. Even though we live in Brooklyn, we could just travel there. So, I did about, maybe about four or five lessons with him in February or March. And he told me what I was doing wrong like my hand movements the overhand like you know I was just doing like I, don't know how to explain it. I was just doing like like this like I was just rolling around like it's the overhand you know like this like when you turn basically and then like if I stop like my when anytime I press the brake I stop too hard I'd be like this and everybody move you know so you kept telling me like what I was doing wrong and then I was fixing it up and I started to see like the progress I'm like okay I'm doing better you feel me or I'm doing better and then that's when I was supposed to take my test in March now I actually felt confident with my driving instructor like he was so calm and soothing like his voice was just making me confident and then I started to see why I actually failed those three times I was like you know what the fourth time I have to pass and I took my test in Laurenton, Queens, just about three or four weeks ago. Um, that is like the best site to take your test. Super easy. It took me literally five minutes. So let me, let me put y'all on, honey. My mom and my sister came and drove me up to Laurenton, Queens. They, I wanted a support team because I always go there by myself. And I just wanted to have a support team. I used my driving instructor's car, by the way, even though I had to pay a little bit more coins. So I just, I just still just use his car because my mom's window doesn't go down. You have to have a window down, especially for this COVID test, you know. So, yeah, I drove with the driving instructor to the uh, site. Then we did a lesson before the test. You'll see in the uh, in the next clip. I'm gonna show. So as soon as I got to the drive-in test. Um, so I did a few lessons before the road test and we did a little left right and then um, K turn we parked about five six times come on parking is all right I would say it's just all right so sometimes I might be uneven sometimes you know I can just get in there I'm just gonna back up we gonna get in there all right <laughs> and he's like you good you good like you gonna pass and then but that following week I had to tell myself I can do it I can do it and that was the difference from me failing those three times I had to really actually talk to myself one-on-one -on -one in the mirror like you can do this and actually be confident I have to write my emotions I was feeling nervous I had anxiety because I'm like dang I failed those three times what if I failed again and I'm like so what so what you got this you girl you can drive and I've been driving my mom's car Sometimes my mom's not home, I'm like, mom, I'm just gonna drive your car. She's like, okay, you feel me? So, you know, that practice and being confident in yourself, you got this. If you guys are taking your tests anytime soon, yo, you got this. Like, be confident, son. Cause girl, or boy, whoever's watching this, I'm not trying to take MTA ever again. Like, if you're from New York, you know, like, I'm not trying to take the train. I'm not trying to, I don't even take the bus, honey. I take the train. I am not taking no train. I want to get a car soon. Hope, hopefully by the end of the year, I can get my car because I cannot, honey. Like, I don't care if I have to park six, seven blocks away from my house. I cannot. I'd rather drive. That's it. Because I'm already spending too much money on Uber. And, um, whatever I'm using to travel. <laughs> All right, let me get back to the story. I'm going way off track. All right. So when we at the site, we in Laurelton. 
um hopped in the car instructor there luckily i had a black instructor all right i was talking to him the whole ride like i would i adjusted my sheets i mean seats i sheets <laughs> i adjusted my seats put my seat belt on check my mirrors you know you could move the mirrors up and down whatever check my rear view mirrors all that you feel me and i felt i felt good like i had to i ate a banana before i took my test i smoked lavender like the lavender plant like it helps you calm down i had to actually you know talk to myself like i said so i was just, i felt confident like i felt like i was having like a mini date with the instructor like he was cool so i'm talking to him i'm like how's your day going and this and that i think that's what helped me with the with passing too i oh yeah i passed uh -oh. <laughs> so uh i was talking to him the whole ride he told me to turn left i mean turn right so i turned right and then we had to turn left then we had to do the k turn and then park my parking was a one honey perfect and girl i thought i passed i mean i thought i failed because he was like it's a little bit uneven but it's all right and he was being goofy the whole ride we was laughing the whole ride like it was fun like i had like a mini car date with the instructor so boom we we basically low-key did a circle honestly or a square like we was like zoop, 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 da, 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 back to the site i'm like wow that was quick i'm saying that in my head but we was talking the whole ride like yo honestly if you are taking a test you should talk to the instructor the whole ride like just talk to them just to get the anxiety out and then the show like you can multitask you can drive and you can talk at the same time the show like oh okay they can multitask that's good all right so boom i'm over the place my bad um we back to the site and um i'm like damn i, I feel like i freaking failed low key because the way he was like kept telling me like some things like i thought i was doing wrong but i wasn't and he was like well you know next time i hope you do better and i'm like damn and then uh yo why was it mad close to my car what the hell i don't know if y'all saw that like why are you mad close sorry y'all anyways um he was like you better luck next time da, da, da. And i'm like dang i freaking failed so he put in that envelope he's like all right see you later Damn, I was like, damn, we was having that nice conversation. Like, we was laughing and having a good time and all that. Then, I looked at the envelope. I opened it up. And I didn't see nothing I did wrong. I'm like, huh? I was so confused. And then my instructor came. He was like, why are you still in the car? You passed. I was like, I passed! <laughs> Yo, I was so hyped, son. I was so hyped, bro. Like, oh my God. But yo, like I said, if y'all taking your test anytime soon, you got this. Like, you got this. Be confident in yourself, honey. Just imagine yourself getting your car next week. All right? Boom. All right. So, in the next clip, you'll see me crying. You're going to see videos all over the place. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Later. Oh, by the way, if you want me to do this makeup look, let me know. Comment down below. Later, go ahead and watch these next clips. Uh, it's your girl T in a place to be. So, my test is the next day. Um, I was supposed to have a driving lesson today, but I don't know what happened to my driving instructor. He was like, oh, I have to um, help out other students with a driving road test. So, he all the way with a road test. And I was like, I was like, um can i at least drive there and like drive around over there he said oh i can't help we can't practice over here maybe tomorrow and i was supposed to have one driving lesson today and one driving lesson before my road test and i better get that driving lesson because i want to practice your girl trying to pass i'm gonna pass this time because this ain't it like next week i'm trying to get a bmb and i'm trying to get a rent deal. okay honey so i'm gonna come back tomorrow let y'all know how the driving the, the driving um lesson goes and i'm gonna let y'all know how the driving road test goes so i'll see y'all tomorrow hey y'all 
So I'm about to go ahead to Queens and take my driving lesson with my favorite driving instructor, all right, before my road test. So um, I don't want to say wish me love, just put prayer hands in the chat. I'll let y'all know how the driving, um, I'll let y'all know how the driving lesson goes. And then we're going to go ahead and take my road test. So put the prayer hands in the chat. I'm going to come right back. You're going to see my reaction. I don't know if I'm going to come back after my lesson or my road test. So y'all see. Y'all see. All right. Pray your hands in the chat. Because your girl wants to get her license and your girl wants to be lit and get a rental. Okay. I can't stay in this house no more. I'm done. Your girl trying to get a rental. All right. So we'll be back. Wish me some love. Send me some love. Please, please, please. All right. Hey y'all, hey. I passed my test. <laughs> These are happy tears. I passed, I passed, I passed. Yo, I was crying. It was happy tears, yo. I passed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, I was just oh my god. <sighs> yo, this guy just said hi beautiful. I'm dead. And he and he in a white van. Oh no. So boom. When I get home, actually, one of these days I'm gonna do a video um how I failed and now um the three times and how I passed my fourth try. Okay. So see y'all soon. I hope you guys enjoy. I wish I filmed a little bit more, but when I get home, beat my face and tell y'all all about how I failed and how your girl passed. Okay. <laughs> By the way, y'all, these are my lucky red shoes, okay? All right, your girl passed.